Now here the question is, we are given a function fx, which is 1 minus x whole square into sine square x plus x square for all x belongs to R. And we are given this function gx, which is defined as this integral from 1 to x to t minus 1 upon t plus 1 minus log t ft dt where x belongs to 1 to infinite. Now the first question is consider the two statements p there exists some x belongs to r such that fx plus 2x equals 2 1 plus x square and second one is there exists some x such that 2 fx plus 1 equals 2x into 1 plus x. Now first we look at the statement p. A statement P it says fx plus 2x it is equal to 2 plus 2x square. Now we'll put the value of fx so it'll be 1 minus x square into sine square x plus x square plus 2x and it'll be 2 plus 2x square. So we can write this as 1 minus x square into sine square x and will be x square minus 2x plus 2. We will add 1 and subtract 1. We can write 1 minus x square sine square x and will be 1 minus x whole square plus 1. Now we will take 1 minus x square here. So we will write 1 minus x whole square and then 1 minus sine square x will be cos square x. And this value will be equal to minus 1. Now since this is square of some number, it is always greater than or equal to 0. And it can never be equal to minus 1. So it means the statement P is incorrect. So statement P is false. Now what about statement Q? Statement Q says there exists some x belongs to R such that 2fx plus 1 equals 2x into 1 plus x. So here what we'll do is we'll define a function say hx which is given by 2fx plus 1 minus 2x minus 2x square. So we'll write this as hx equals 2 and then what is fx? fx is 1 minus x whole square into sine square x plus x square and then 1 minus 2x minus 2x square. So this hx function will be 2 into 1 minus x whole square into sine square x and then plus 1 minus 2x minus x square. Now this hx is a continuous function. If we find h0 then h0 will be 1 and if we find h1, h1 will be, this is 0 and here it will be minus 2. So h0 is positive and h1 is negative. So this function, it will cross this x-axis between 0 and 1 at least once. So that means there is at least 1x in the interval 0 to 1 where hx is 0. That means the statement Q, it is correct. So we'll have some X in R such that this equation is valid. So answer to this question is P is false and Q is true. And that's your option C. Now the second part is we need to find if GX is increasing or decreasing. So we'll find G dash X. G dash X will be 2 X minus 1 upon x plus 1 minus log x and derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of 1 is 0 into fx derivative of x is 1 minus lower limit lower limit is constant so its derivative will be 0 so we can write g dash x as 2 now we'll add 1 and subtract 1 so we'll write 2 minus 4 upon x plus 1 minus log x 
into fx. Now fx it is sum of squares. So this fx is always greater than or equal to zero. Now what about this expression? 2 minus 4x plus 1 minus log x. We'll take this as some function say 5x 2 minus 4 upon x plus 1 minus log x when x is greater than 1. Now we'll find 5 dash x. So it'll be 4 upon x plus 1 square minus 1 by x. So it'll be 4x minus x square minus 1 minus 2x upon x into x plus 1 square. So it'll be minus x minus 1 whole square x upon x plus 1 square which is always less than 0. That means this 5x it is decreasing function. So if x is greater than 1 and since 5x is decreasing, 5x is less than 5, 1. So we'll write 5x and will be less than 5, 1. What is 5, 1? 5, 1 is 2 minus 2, which is 0. That means this 5x is always less than 0. So this expression is always negative. So this g dash x, it is less than 0 for all x greater than 1. So this function gx, it is always decreasing in 1 to infinite and that's your option B.